I'm Cassie Slister. Um, I'm ten, and I I really really enjoy football, and a lot of other sports as well. I I I play for Pool Town, but I'm out as you can see. I I was supposed to be playing a match today for uh, Arsenal Soccer Schools. I went to my physios and she said before I can start walking around and maybe doing sports again, she said it might be a, another two or three weeks before I can. I get really disappointed when I can't play football for my team. I just feel like I let the team down a bit. Because my injury, I take it, I take um, two, a thousand units in the morning and a thousand units units before I go to bed but when I do it every other day I take a thousand un- two thousand units he plays he, he plays a lot of football and he twisted his ankle and then which obviously led to a bleed and I think once if you're a haemophiliac once you've damaged a joint and you've bled into a joint it's weakened so you're more likely to damage it again so he just, every few weeks, he would just, uh, you know, just twist his ankle and it would bleed again. So he was having bleeds sort of every few weeks in his ankles and then they became so weak and, and damaged and they were painful. It was painful for him to walk, to run. Mm. He used to have to, after a football match, he used to have to strap his ankles with ice just to sort of get some pain relief. Um, he only started on prophylaxis last year because... Um, it's not automatically provided to children who are classed as moderate haemophiliacs, which Cassius and Johnny are. It was only when he started having really frequent joint bleeds into his ankles, um, he was having problems walking, he was in constant pain, um, and he spent two months in a wheelchair last year because he was in so much pain with his ankles and frequent bleeds in there. Um, and that's when he was put on prophylaxis. So my youngest son, Johnny, also started prophylaxis about two months ago. So when we went to hospital for our review, they said, OK, let's, let's start him on prophylaxis. There's no point waiting for him to start having really bad joint bleeds like Cassius did before we do it. We may as well start him doing it before he has problems. So, he, it's going really well. So I'm going to put Johnny's magic cream. We're going to put your magic cream on, aren't we? And what does this do? Um, that helps to get my ma- veins. It helps it to go numb, so you don't feel it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And can you? Where do we need to put it? There. On your wiggly worm. Um, we transferred to Great Ormond Street Hospital, which is amazing hospital, um, and they put us on prophylaxis, and they provided us with home treatment. So we get a delivery every few weeks of treatment, which we keep at home, so they can have their prophylaxis injections. But also, if they have any problems, we've got access to treatment right there. We don't have to go to the hospital and spend hours and hours, sort of. Um, I'm not criticising the hospital, it's just how it works. You know, you, we travel there, you have to wait to be seen, you are admitted by a nurse, then you have to wait to see a doctor, then they usually have to phone to check with a haematologist to see what the course of action should be. And then you have your treatment and then they have to check you after your treatment. And, you know, it, it takes hours and it, it took over our lives. Going to the hospital and back took over our lives for a good nine years. So that's changed. I, I, I've been... The first time I did it on myself, I was really nervous and scared. But I, I've been doing it for a while now, and I think I'm pretty good at it now. Because I'm left-handed, I usually have to do it with my um, right hand, my right arm. Too high. Mm, a little bit lower, maybe. Well done. Do you want me to get rid of this? Well done. Because I... The reason I started learning it was because um, I got a school trip and I'm sleeping in a tent for a week, so my mum thought it would be good if I could do it myself there.
my mum still does his prophylaxis, but he his veins aren't as good as my veins. They're quite deep in, and mum my mum can't see them very well. Okay. Keep nice and still for mummy. Let's have your arm. Do the blood stops. Well done. Well, we don't let it define us as a family. We, you know, we don't want to be known as the haemophilia family, or we are completely normal, you know, we do everything that other families do. We don't wrap the children up in cotton wool. Do you know that saying? We, you know, we don't wrap, we let them do football, we let them run around and ride their bikes. We, we let them do whatever they want.